Welcome back to the channel, everybody. On today's lightsaber review, we have another Iron Destiny Props accurate lightsaber. And this one is probably the most popular lightsaber there is. This is the A New Hope Graflex. This is the first lightsaber any of us ever got to see. And this is dead accurate. This is the most accurate you can get, once again, unless you have been there for the movie prop itself. Everything is vintage on this lightsaber besides two small components. Other than that, everything on this lightsaber is vintage. You cannot purchase this brand new or get that at all. They're gone, they're, they're old as hell. Iron Destiny Props is, specializes in replicating movie props to a T and they knocked it out of the park with this lightsaber. Looking at this lightsaber just brings me back straight to A New Hope, everything from the bubble strips, to the grips, to the glass eye, to just the weathering all around. The bunny ears, the buttons on the back, I mean, this thing is absolutely stunning, and I really feel like it should just be in a museum itself. But you can buy yours from Iron Destiny Props, it's just gonna be for a pretty hefty price itself. Let's jump into all the details of this lightsaber and get a little bit closer up for you guys at home. This lightsaber is at an overall length of 10 and 3 4 inches. It features a bulb clamp assembly, bunny ears, electrical socket with brass bulb contact, spring emitter, dual pocket brass pins, Fulmer knurled glass eye bezel, and red button main switch. This clamp assembly showcases a vintage extract, a 20 calculated bubble strip, just like the Darth Vader one that we showcased before, modified to fit between the clamp rails with angled shoulder edges. This allows for the screen accurate raised clamp lever and absent square washer, which can be seen in the film. A custom aluminum rivet head was machined and affixed to the clamp lever for accuracy and a precisely designed REF military stamp was hammered into the vintage clamp bar to match the real hilt. Wanawanga T-Track grips once again were used accurately installed to replicate the spacing of the original screen used props. Four flush mount rivet heads were glued between the grips at the hilt base and a Wanawanga aluminum clip and D-ring were riveted to the pommel. The parts list consists of a non-patented vintage Graflex, Fulmer brass socket pins, Fulmer vintage glass eye bezel, Attracta 20 bubble strip, Wanawanga T-Track grips and rivets, and Wanawanga dual rivet clip. And as you can see here, this is the certificate that you get with your Iron Destiny props lightsaber to show all of the fantasy tags along with a awesome gold stamp to show that you are more special than everybody else because you have the real thing, not some master replica. Thank you everybody for watching another awesome lightsaber review on the channel. Big shout out to Kyberphonics once again for letting me use and review another amazing lightsaber. This. Graflex is seriously the sickest thing ever. It is the first lightsaber a lot of us got to see, especially a lot of the older Star Wars fans who got to grow up to see this in theaters. So just to have this in my hands right now is actually just super cool. And I never thought I'd be able to do anything like this. Um, so yeah, Iron Destiny props, number one for authenticity. If you want to go through them, I'll have the link below in the description. Well, everybody, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time on New Type Sith for more nerd news, lightsaber reviews, and much more. Have a great day and have one hell of a weekend.